to continue on with chapter 3 part B we will be discussing about the measures of distribution shape relative location and detecting outliers the five number summaries and box plot the measures of association between two variables and data dashboard so to start we will go to the measures of distribution shape, relative location, and detecting outliers. So we will discuss the distribution shapes. What are the different distribution shapes? We will discuss the measures of relative location using z-scores, the Chebyshev's theorem, and the empirical rule. And we will discuss how to detect outliers. So first is a distribution shape. So it is or the the measure of a distribution shape is what you call the skewness. If you remember in your previous discussion when we generated the um descript a uh, summary of statistics using the descriptive analysis tool, diba? na part dito na naa ang skewness o ang kurtosis. So, skewness is again a measure of distribution. So, how do you get the skewness? This is the formula. So, n over n minus 1 times n minus 2 multiplied by the summation of xi minus mean divided by standard deviation to the power of 3. So, it is complicated to compute the skewness if you do it manually. So, it is easier to compute for the skewness using statistical softwares. So, like Excel. Now, what are the different shapes or skewness? We have three. Or rather, yeah, we have three. First is the symmetric meaning it is not skewed. This means that the skewness is equal to zero and the mean and median are equal. So as you can see here, diba, mura siyag balance sa ang imuhang left or right side. Therefore, mura siya ang imuhang skewness kay zero since the mean is equal to your median. So balance sa siya. Now, when it is skewed to the left so it is mod moderately skewed to the left so as you can see here skewness is negative which means the mean is usually less than the median so in this case ato ang skewness is negative 0.85 so muna siya din hi Again, if it is negatively skewed or skewness is negative, it is skewed to the left. Now, next is if it is skewed to the right, so meaning the skewness is positive. This means that the mean will usually be more than the median. So, monasha in this case, ang atuang skewness is positive 0. 85. Now, we have another shape, which is this one, a highly skewed to the right na shape, which means the skewness is positive and is often higher or above 1.0. Now, since to the right maghapon siya, so mean will usually, usually be more than the median. So, Mona siyang, it is highly skewed. So, tanawa, if imo siya i-compare aning isa nga moderately skewed, ra, awa, ang imo hang second bar is relatively higher in comparison to the bars beside it. So, mona siya nga highly skewed na siya. So, that is your skewness. Next, we have the z-score. So, a z-score is often called the standardized value. So, it denotes the number of standard deviation a data value, denoted by xi, is from the mean. 
So, Excel standardized function can be used to compute the z-score. Now, if you compute the z-score manually, it is your data value less your mean divided by your standard deviation. So, what do you mean by a standardized value? It is when you are trying to compare two different values. So, mangita kag mga point of similarity nila or imuha siyang i-standardize. So, for example, di ba, you cannot compare ang bunga sa apple o ang bunga sa bayabas. So, technically, you can compare those two because they are of different classes. However, if imuang is standardized, there is a possibility that you can make comparisons. Another example is, you cannot, diba, um, for instance, you would like to compare how well a student is doing in one subject to another. So, which is the student better? Is it in math or is it in English? So, how do you know? Diba, kung saan niyo pag-compare ang iyang performance sa math o ang iyang performance sa English. So, using Z-scores, imuhang i-standardize ang iyang mga results, both math and English, para ma-compare na niyo ang duha. So, mo na siya gamit sa imuhang Z-score. So, an observation's Z-score is a measure of the relative location of the observation in a data set. So, a data value less than the sample mean will have a Z-score less than 0. And a data value greater than the sample mean will have a Z-score greater than 0. So, meaning, a data value equal to the sample mean will have a Z-score of 0. So, naatay examples din he. <clears throat> now, again, Para makuha niyo mo imuhang z-score, you need first to get the mean and the standard deviation. So, sa example, diba diri, your mean is 44 and your standard deviation is 8. So, we can just mean so let's repeat for the sketching. See, and then your standard deviation is again eight. So you have a mean of forty-four and a standard deviation of eight. So one ang important na imuhang makuha before you are to get the z-score. Now, again, you need to get the deviation about the mean, meaning the difference of your mean with the data value or your x. So, this is your x, and then this is your that is your x, and then this column right here would be your deviation. So, let's try to recreate this. This is your deviation about the mean. So again, it is your, to get the deviation, it's simply your x minus your mean. So as you can see, we are trying, or this column is the numerator. Mone siya ang numerator sa imong z-score na formula. So you can also do this manually. So you have two C. So you have those values. Next is we will get another Z score. So Z score color. Again, the Z score is your division about the mean divided by your standard deviation. So, muna ang pagkuha sa imuhang z-score. So,
So see here, <clears throat> if your data value is higher than your mean, your z-score is a positive. See, it is a positive. If it is lower, in this case, 42, it is a negative and also a 32. So, mo na imuhang z-score or your standardized score. So, like, for example, if we try to apply it, if we try to apply it to um, a, a real-life situation, for example, these are your scores in your different subjects. So, for instance, this is for math, English, and so on and so forth. Now, if you are to compare which subjects the student is doing better, you will know that the subject is, or if the student is doing better because he or she has a higher Z-score. When you say Z-score, mang good, di ba? Muna siyang imuhang gilay on sa kung unsa ang performance sa average. So, again, muna siyang imong gilay on. Muna, we are using the division about the mean. Unsa, so... For instance, your score is 46 and then ang average is 44, meaning you are performing better compared to the others by 0.25. So, ana siya? Mas higher ka by 0.25. Now, if your score is 54, so you are 1.25 points higher compared to the average. So, mo na siya ang gamit sa imuhang Z-score. So, Kung subjects pa ni siya, o makita ni mo na the student is not doing well, kung ari ka sa score na 32. So, whatever subject that is, diba, is mas gamay or mas lesser yung performance in compared to the average. Now, if you go sa kanina subject, you will see that the student is performing well in comparison to the average. So, maon ang imuhang Z-score. Again, ang Z-score ni mo, <clears throat> it shows you the location of your observation, diba? relative location of your observation. Remember, we are already in the measurement of relative location. So, it shows you its relative location given a data set. So, <clears throat> mo na siyang imuhang Z-score.